All right, so now I'm going to write my solutions. Now remember, I'm expecting three of them, right? So Z1 is when k is equal to, now pick a value for me, right? k can be any integer you like. Give me a value. Negative one. Now, I've got, a lot of, I've got a lot of choices, right? I'm going to start with a nice easy one. I'm going to start with zero, okay? When k equals zero, and partly because I know, think about this, right? What's going to happen to this? What argument am I going to expect, right? 2 times 0 times pi on 3, right? So when I pop this into monarch form, I've got 1, there's the modulus, cos of, now mark it, right? This is theta, okay? This is theta here. So really it's 2 times 0 pi on 3, 2 times 0 pi on 3. You okay with that? 1, cos 0, that looks familiar, right? Plus i sine 0. What's my number? One. One. Good. Okay. Confirmed. There's the first. I rubbed it off. There's the first root I was expecting. Okay. Now I can try other values of k, right? I can try other values of k. But think about what it means to try. Like, what if I said k equals 100? What would that mean? Okay. It means every time I go and add on to k, I'm getting a bigger and bigger angle, right? So I'm just going round lots and lots and lots of times. Now, if I just want the principal argument. I just want the principal argument. Then I want k equals 0, and I want all the numbers that are closest to 0. Does that make sense? So let's try k equals 1. This will give me my next value. So I've got, there's my modulus. Then I go cos of 2 pi on 3 is my k equals 1, plus i sine 2 pi on 3. Okay, cos of 2 pi on 3, cos of 120 degrees. Hmm. Who's got it? Minus one or two. It's going to be minus a half. Minus a half? Does that gel with what you were expecting? Right? In fact, we knew we had d minus one and a half, minus a half for both of them, right? When I try z3 in a second. Plus i times, and I'm gonna get minus. negative root three on two, right? No. Or am I getting positive? positive? Oh yeah, I'm positive. Root three on two. Okay, you're right with that? Let's just tidy this up. Now, at this point here, right, when I know what the argument is when k equals 1, I can already see at this line, there's no point trying k equals 2. Or rather, even if you do, you're just going to make more work for yourself. Can you see why? k equals 2 is not a good way to go. When you put k equals 2 in here, right, you'll get 4 pi on 3. 4 pi on 3? That's already outside the principal argument. See that? Because the principal argument goes from negative pi to pi. So once I've gotten this far, then I immediately say, well, forget going in the positive direction. I don't want to do that anymore. I might as well go in the other direction so I can stay within the principal argument's domain. Does that make sense? So I'm going to get this, z3. Okay, now because cosine is an even function, you're still going to get minus a half. And because sine is an odd function, you're going to get the opposite of this. Right? Which were the two answers that you got before, or rather the three answers that you got before. Okay? Now, that seemed like a lot of work, right? Like going straight to the algebra, which is a, was a much simpler way to go if we were just dealing with a power of three. But now, you're ready to give this guy a go, right? This pressure is going to be much more powerful when we try this, okay?